Hey, everybody. Today is Friday and it's Financial Freedom Friday. And so I'm jumping on. I'm so excited that it's the new year. So if I haven't already said it, happy new year to all of you. And so I have two very special guests on today. I have my niece, Tasia Lamar. Hey, Tasia. Hey. <laughs> And my other unofficial niece, <laughs> Chastity Neely. Hey, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to, um, I brought them on tonight because one of the things I want to do in 2022 is show what um, we talk about Financial Freedom Friday. And so I just want to bring people on this, on, in the, on their journey to financial freedom. And so what that looks like for them, um, they have been a part in 2021 that was a part of either my course or they participated in some type of one-on-one coaching. And so I just want to be able to just show the faces of the real people. <laughs> so that it's not just like, I'm just talking about these people, y'all never seen them before. So I want to show the faces of the real people that have actually been through the program and how it has benefited them. So I just want to ask y'all a quick question, a couple of questions. Uh, what made you join the course? Who? I we think decided uh, who was going first. Okay. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> I'll go first. So um, I wanted to join the course because one, I wanted better financial health for myself. And also like as a young professional, I think it's really easy for me to think like I have time to save when really saving earlier is better. So this course, um, I knew it would really help me with that. Okay, good. What about you, Tasia? I am a spender. <laughs> like it doesn't matter if it's five dollars or 500 like I'm gonna spend it I don't even need it so I needed like something that was gonna ground me and give me structure so that I could keep up with my money like going into adulthood and like paying bills for the first time like I knew I needed help so that's why I joined yeah I'm so excited I love the fact that because both of y'all are I'm not gonna tell your age but y'all are below 25 and y'all are recent college graduates and so one of the things that we did this summer is we did college grads or individuals that either were in college or just graduated from college and we wanted to be, provide this foundational support you know you're gonna be you're gonna do a lot of things in life and you're going to start saving and investing and doing some really big things for you know that's both of y'all and so I wanted to be able to help you guys just build that foundation from the beginning of how not to just manage your your money but to save it to understand insurance to understand investments and so we had a really good time um, this summer and so what was your biggest takeaway from the course? You want to take this one first? <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Okay. My biggest takeaway is like having a written plan for your money. Because mm -hmm. I always thought like I could keep track of it in my head. Like I know how much I made. I know how much my rent is. I'm good. It was like, no, do not do that. <laughs> And like having an actual written out plan that I can look at so I can know how much is coming in and how much is going out. And yeah, I think that's my biggest takeaway. Good. That was good. <laughs> what about you, Chaz? Um, okay, so I had a lot of big takeaways, but I will say probably my biggest takeaway was learning that you can budget for your desires. Because when I think of when I initially thought of budgeting, I was like, um, I'm only budgeting for the bills that I got to pay. I'm only budgeting for rent, phone bill, insurance, whatever the case may be. But like actually learning that I can budget for my travel expenses, because at the time I was traveling a whole lot or like I'm a big shopper. I love to go shopping. So if I put away $50 every paycheck, I can save that up to go shopping. So learning that I can budget my desires, just not just my bills was my biggest takeaway. Yes, I feel like a lot of people feel like budgeting is like a straight jacket and it mm -hmm. keeps you from being able to do the things that you enjoy. And so one of the things that I know Taja said to me, she's like, oh my goodness, I can enjoy when I like go and eat out. <laughs> I don't feel guilty anymore. I can eat my burger in peace. <laughs> Eat my food in peace because I know you know I'm not spending my rent money so I don't have that guilt that's associated with like shopping or budgeting or traveling if the money is there then you can budget for you put that money away and so I love that as a takeaway for you Chase and for you uh Taja just having it written down and being able to 
see it is really the key. And so what are the benefits of doing it as a group? You know, like we had the course and so we did some group sessions and also I did a couple of one-on-one -on -one sessions. So what was the, Chaz, I'll let you take this one first. What was the okay. benefit of doing it as a group? Um, so I will say firstly, I was able to learn other people's perspective on money because I've always looked at money from my perspective and also seeing like if somebody else's strategy would work for my money as well. And then also like when you have people come in talking about insurance or talking about credit, like those are really good things to have conversation with in a group setting so that, you know, somebody else might ask a question that I didn't know I had a question about, but <laughs> when somebody else asks it, I'm like, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> so um, that, that to me was a, a benefit of the group coaching. Good. What about you, Tasha? I was a little nervous about the group coaching at first because I'm like, I'm the dance teacher. I'm not making what Chaz is making is like a supply chain manager. So I was like, oh my goodness, like I'm going to be the one not bringing in any money and it's going to be really embarrassing. And it was the complete opposite. Like it was really comfortable and it was easy. It was nice to see that other people are having the same struggles I'm having. Other people are going through the same things. Other people have the same questions. And so it ended up being really comfortable and comforting. And like Chad said, it was nice to be like, oh, that was a good question about insurance that I never would have thought of. Or I would have thought of when we got off the call and I wouldn't have been able to ask um, whoever came in to talk about insurance. So it was just a nice, comfortable setting and it made it more relaxed. Like I feel like I was on a Zoom call talking to my friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome, I, agree I love that. What about the one-on-one -on -one sessions, Tasia? <sighs> I have money. <laughs> I did not realize I had money until we <laughs> sat down and did my budget. And I was like, I remember calling Chaz after because her one-on-one -on -one was before mine. And I called her and I was like, Chaz, I make money. She was like, that's the same thing I said. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not as bad as you thought it was. Not, and the whole thing has changed the connotation for the word budget for me. Like, I feel like budget was always like this bad, heavy word. It was super adult. You know, I'm still becoming an adult. So I'm not, <laughs> it was adult. And now it's like, oh, a budget. Like, it's not as scary. It's not as heavy. So I feel like those are the two big things I got. Good. What about you, Chaz? Okay, so that was actually the first thing I was going to say, like, I realized that I did have extra money to spend, because before we started the class, I felt like, I don't know why I felt like I was stretching my money, but it felt like I was trying to stretch it, and then when we did our budget together, when you, like, made me put down all of my expenses, and looking at how much I left, I had left over was surprising to me, I'm like, okay, well, I got money to budget more into my travel expenses or my shopping expenses, stuff that I want to do because I don't have to spend extra on bills. Um, and also when we went through like how much I could save in a year's time by like being not necessarily extremely, extremely frugal, but being cautious and careful about my spending, um, that was a big eye opener for me because I'm thinking like, I make decent money, but at the same time, saving that much in so little time seemed like a really, really big stretch for me, but it, it made it seem easy when we did our one-on-one -on -one session. And also just having like that, um, like undivided attention into like one person's expenses and budgeting, like that was really helpful. Yeah, yeah that's the hard, I think the one-on-one -on -one is the hardest for most people. Um, and I feel like the combination is perfect because you have the group sessions where everybody gets to talk about, you know, the general, the general things. And then we go into specifically what that looks like for you. And so I think just having the combination, a lot of people are saying like, if I just do the one-on-ones, what I'm finding is that a lot of people that just do the one-on-ones because they don't have their group support and the encouragement that comes with that, the next time it's time to meet with me, they're like panicking. <laughs> instead of being prepared y'all were like what are we gonna do with another one I need to do this one on one so I feel like just having that combination is a perfect balance <laughs> for you and so let me ask you this question this one last question would you recommend this to someone else your age or older or whatever what would you recommend this to anyone else and why oh absolutely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, for real. Um, 
I learned a lot. I had a lot of takeaways from the course. I think um, some of the stuff or a lot of the things that I learned while we were doing, I don't even know how long we did it for, what, two two months Mm -hmm. um, or so? Yeah, it was about two months. I'm still doing a lot of the things. Like, I'm physically right now, okay, I got this much money to spend. So it it put in really good habits for me long term. And so, yeah, that's I would absolutely recommend this course to anybody who's looking to do better with their finances. Yay! Tasia, anything else you want to add? I just piggybacking off of Chaz, I would definitely recommend it, especially for people our age, because like we just graduated from college. We're both like paying real bills for the first time. And that is a big, scary thing. And I feel like it took money and it didn't make it this scary, like massive, like unreachable thing. It made it very tangible, very real, and it's very approachable. Um and Crystal has been great about like, I mean, yes, I'm her niece, but we still like <laughs> message in our group me that we built with everyone that was in the class and we still able to reach out to her and Nita. And that's been really great. And I feel like it's just made money more real and tangible and life just isn't as scary. And I know this sounds dramatic, but it really did do that for me. Yeah, I was reading, I saw something on the news today that said the average American thinks about money six times a day worries about money six times a day and so one of the major things like like Taja just said is that if we take the fear out of it and then we show you like what you have and then I also try to show people like look if you need to make some more money these are ways that you can make more money or these are the things that you need to be able to cut and that that way money is not a stress for you you know, a lot of people, they go to work stressed, come home stressed because just for money, you know, just because of money. And so I love the idea. My favorite thing to do is to help people build their foundation. And so whether there's financial foundation, even spiritual foundation, I just love to be able to help people build that foundation. And so y'all, this is like music to my ears. We did not practice this. <laughs> we did it. Your <laughs> answers would be, and so this is music to my ears. That's like, look, I can approach this. I can approach my day-to-day life, not live in fear not worry too much over my money and know like what I have, what I don't have and how to approach that, you know, how to really make some real good decisions. Um, You know, what should I do? What should I do this month? Or who do I need to talk to to help me this month? Or what extra do I need to be doing? So you can be very strategic and you don't have to approach it with fear. You can approach it like, oh, let me let me let me sit down and determine what needs to happen. More of a problem solver as a problem solver instead of in fear. And so I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so excited for your future. Your future was already bright because <laughs> y'all are amazing. But I'm even more excited now because once you master this money thing, it's so huge. And so um, and, and what you do next. And so I'm so excited for y'all. I appreciate you so much for doing this. <laughs> And I have so, one more thing to say before we before we hop off. Okay. I would say me, I want to share my age, but guess I'm under 25. Um, I have talked to people that are much older than me and you know they haven't gotten to the stage where they're investing their money or they don't know a whole lot about credit. And so I think people getting involved at our age, like what you said about setting the foundation, it's true. It's, it really sets the foundation. You have more knowledge than you think going after going through this course. Yay. So, yeah. Yay. Anybody out there that's, that's under 25 needs to hop on the big away. <laughs> yes. So don't forget, if y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Uh, let us know that you enjoyed it. We're going to run a class. You can go to budgetmeblack.com. We're going to run a class again in February. And so right now, what we're doing is we're doing the $500 in 25, day cha- 25 days challenge. And so when you go to my website, you can sign up to do that. We're having so much fun. And I'm having a ball in that group. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is having fun, but I'm having a good time. <laughs> of course. So we have a private group. And we all am coming out every day showing you little tips on how you can st- save $20 a day and so we're trying to get how you can make $20 so you can save so I'm not saying you have to have it in your bank account so go to budgetmeblack.com 
join the challenge and also go ahead and join the wait list for our February class. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have college kids or anybody else that you think need to join this, get them on the budgetmeblack.com today because I feel like it is so worth it. I know it's worth it. And tonight is a testimony that is definitely worth it. So y'all have a good night and thank you so much again, Tasia and Chaz. No problem. Bye. All right. Good night.